What is this? <laughs> I think this is diaper cream. Hello, welcome to the Caffeinated Cast-Ons podcast. I'm Therese, also known as Caffeinated Cast-Ons. You can find me on Instagram as at Caffeinated Cast-Ons and I'll post my making there. Uh, think of this as a digital version, video version of Ravelry project pages. I've been knitting about three years. I'm based in North Texas and I just like to share my knitting. It's just an outlet for me. Um, did I say I've been knitting three years? <laughs> Yeah, uh, let's get into it. It is Saturday, June 22nd. It's been a minute. I missed last week, pretty close to missing this week. Life has been crazy in all forms and aspects of everything. Um, I don't have coffee that I'm drinking right now. I had coffee this morning. I went to a coffee shop to do some work and I had a coffee there and I don't know if they put in an extra shot or what, but it was strong this morning. And I drank it pretty quickly because I was really like in the zone working. So it hit me <laughs> like really hard. So I actually have <laughs> a big thing of water. I have, it's like a hydro jug. And so I am drinking this. I had some liquid IV earlier to try to get like the hit to go away. So I'm just staying hydrated right now. But yeah, I don't know what it was about the coffee, but yeah, it was strong, which was needed. It's been like a long, like it's been, it, it was needed. <laughs> um, ignore the diaper cream on my shirt. As soon as I hit record, I realized that I had that like whenever I sat down and looked yeah so that's that's diaper cream there's some more down here <laughs> so I don't feel like changing my shirt we're rolling with it keeping it real over here uh okay <laughs> let's talk about knitting um I don't have any finished objects this week and we're kind of catching up over the past two weeks um last video was from june 7th so it has been a little bit but no finished objects but i have some whips i have three whips that i'm going to take you through of what i've been working on over the past two weeks so where do i want to start okay this first whip is an afghan that i've been working on for essentially almost a year i took just about a year long class. I think it was technically 10 months and it was building an Afghan. You build it square by square. And last episode, I was kind of running against the clock to get it all seamed together because I had all the squares, well, all but one, the uh, squares done. And then I had to seam it together. So I seamed it all together and I started the border. So let me see if I can pick this up because it is a large project and show you. Okay, I think this is the right side. <laughs> oh, sorry. So this is not gonna be easy to show. Hold on. Nope. <laughs> this is, no, there's like no good way to show this. There's just no good way to show that. <laughs> so I'll just kind of show what I can. Um, but I seamed all of the blocks together and I've started the border, which is this gray color. And it's going really well. So I've started the border. I did not finish all the squares. There is, gosh, this is such a mess. There is an empty space somewhere on this blanket where the last square supposed to go which is still on the needles but I have not picked that up since I started seaming this together um, just because I was in a time crunch with getting this where it needed to be before the last class. The class is over so I'm really not rushing to finish this. It's a wool blanket <laughs> and it is June 
in Texas. So literally no reason for me to finish this right now. So this is kind of in hibernation right now while I work on some other projects. Um, yeah, but that's, this is the wrong side. This is what I've got going on. And I really like this gray, how it pulls everything together. To be honest, it's a, it was a year long class and there were times I'm like, I hate this. Like this blanket isn't going to be what I want it to be. Um, colors that I had originally envisioned were not in stock. I had to pivot so many times with the color scheme and how I was going to lay everything out. It ended up coming together really nicely and I'm very excited for how this will turn out. So, <laughs> but it has definitely been a journey and I almost thought, that I was gonna give up and not finish the blanket, but I'm glad I stuck it out. I learned a lot of new things. So this is the gray that we're working with. And then just throw that. The main thing with this blanket, which I'm not sure what to do, is the leftovers. Um, Cause there are quite a bit. I'll at least pick up a handful of the leftovers because essentially I started with a separate skein for each square. It's like, look at that. And this is worsted weight. So I really don't know what to do with like these miscellaneous scraps. Um, I might have to look up some ideas. If you've got ideas, I will gladly take them leave them below because I really don't know what to do. I don't want to waste the yarn and just throw it away. Worst comes to worst, I could just donate it to either a secondhand craft shop or something like that, but I would like to do something with those. <laughs> my next whip is my Cali Vada Shaw by Casey Knits. And I've made good progress on this in the last two weeks. So, this is where I was with my little Texas stitch marker. So you can see the stitch marker right here. So I've done quite a bit over the last two weeks and it goes all the way down. It's kind of curling on itself, but that will block out. And it's looking so good. And then here's the wrong side. I just love what these colors are doing. This is Mace of Skeins yarn on the club base. I can't remember if the club is retired or if it stayed the same, but it's an 80-20 superwash in nylon mix. And these were old yarns that I got at a uh, previous Fiber Fest. They're so beautiful. I'm obsessed. And then again, all this information is linked down below in the description box to the Ravelry project page. But this is, this is Dirty Cowboy and this is Rodeo Queen. So hope I did, yeah, I knit a lot on this, this past like week and a half, two weeks. And it just gets longer. I think that's the hardest part of like a right triangle shawl is that it starts out fast because you don't like, you know, you can do so much. But as you increase, the sections get longer. So you feel like you're moving at a slower pace, even though you still are knitting a lot. I think that's the trouble with just any project or shawl that's shaped like that, but it's really a good knit. I like it a lot. Put that in just this tote bag. The next whip I have for you is a pair of ribbed socks. So this is just a pair of regular rib socks um, and I'm trying to finish them up soon. I think I can finish these today actually. Um, I'm on sock two in the foot. So two weeks ago, I was down here. I had just started the leg and I'm already in the foot. Um, where am I? 
10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So I've probably got like 55 rounds. So I'm probably 10 rounds away. Yeah. Before I get to the toe. So I can finish these today. I want to finish these today to have my first pair of socks done for summer sock camp, just because I have not finished a pair yet. <laughs> and I would like to get these done and submit them for a prize. If you don't know what summer sock camp is or like, what the heck are you talking about, Therese? Uh, the Crazy Sock Lady on YouTube, on Instagram. Uh, she is hosting a make along for socks and you can knit crochet socks any size any yarn all that good stuff and it's just for fun but you can uh, turn in finished objects for prizes and she randomly draws and you can win like either yarn notions a project bag stuff like that it's super fun um and i really would like to get these done to submit my first pair of socks for summer sock camp prizes uh, this is the yarn i am using it is Suburban Stitcher. Um, the colorway is Cosmopolitan and it's on their sock base. So Suburban Stitcher. And this is 7525 Superwash in Nylon. Um, yeah, so it is going good. I've got plenty to finish this sock. And then once I get this finished, I will wind some off for a scrappy blanket, some to give, and then the rest will probably just go in a regular leftover pile that I have going that I'm, some will just be for contrast colors and socks and we'll go for scrappy socks. I think I'll probably show that in like another video of just like what I, this little basket I keep some like leftovers in um yeah maybe that'll be next week but coming close to finishing these so two weeks ago whenever I last recorded I did set some goals that I wanted to hit so those goals were to finish my other DK vanilla sock which I did not do I haven't touched that one it's to the point where I need to start the heel but I just didn't pick it up over the past two weeks uh, start the border of Afghan, which I did. That was kind of like just a gimme goal because I knew I was going to start it in the class anyways. So I just, I like to check things off. <laughs> so I, I gave it to myself. Um, cast on new sock. I'm not quite there yet since I didn't finish my rib socks and I didn't finish my, my other DK socks that is on second sock as well. And then I wanted to pick back up my Cali Bada shawl. So that I did. And I did start the border. So half my goals, two out of four. Um, but for this week, this upcoming week, my goals are to finish the rib socks, which like I mentioned, my goal is to finish those today. Like I, I need a finish. <laughs> so that's going to be that. Uh, next goal is to finish at least one additional repeat of my Cali Vada shawl. So I think I, I did like a repeat and a half over the past two weeks. So I would like to get in another repeat done. Um, and then I would like to cast on a new pair of socks. So if I can finish that rib sock today, then I will probably cat or I don't know if I'll cast on today. I'll at least cake up the yarn, if not start a new sock, um, but rib sock finished. I want to finish that today. <laughs> so I think I can finish it by tonight. Um, yeah, so those are my goals for the upcoming week. I think they're very reasonable. I've kind of just loosened up on a lot of deadlines, especially now that my class for that blanket is over. I really don't have any deadlines looming over me. There are some other projects I really need to get a move on to because they are gifts and I need to get them done <laughs> in slash started. <laughs> mm, yeah, but I'm just trying to clear what I can off my needles so I am less overstimulated with that. Mm, oh, I do have some new yarn that I picked up since I was at... Uh, my class 
it was at a local yarn shop and I picked up some yarn. So let me show you what I got. So some YouTubers, whenever they get new yarn and they show it, they call that acquisitions. And that just sounds so fancy and funny to me. I don't know why, but I just, I bought yarn. That's what I bought. <laughs> well, I guess I see why they did it now because I guess they just, they did acquire it, whether it was bought or gifted. So I guess that wording kind of makes sense. But this, like, I am not an influencer, okay? Uh, I bought some yarn. I saw it, I liked it, I want it. <laughs> um, this is Twisted Ambitions yarn. Let me take this off so you can see. And this is just the mini skeins that I bought. I'm gonna show these one at a, here. Here they are together. <laughs> and they are so cute. There is a big like basin of them and I just picked three that I really, really liked. This one is called Full For You and these are just 20 gram minis. Um, let me back up. 20 gram minis, <laughs> 75, 25 superwash nylon blend. And okay, hold on, let me back up. Calm down, Therese. This one is green and speckled. This is in the colorway Caterpillar, which is very fitting with like this bright green here. And then these two I really like for multiple reasons. One, the colors are just beautiful, like especially like the blues in here. I saw it and I was like, I need to have this. Um, but I really like the names and I didn't realize it until I got home. Uh, this one is called Full For You. And then this one is I'll Follow You Into The Dark. And I was like, oh, those are both song names. Like this one is um, a Death Cab For Cutie song. And then this one is a Cranberries song. And I was like, that is so cool. I don't know if that's like what the song or no, I don't know if that's what the names are actually from, but that's like the first thing I thought whenever I bought them. Just look at that. Oh yeah. So pretty. And I don't know if I'm going to make scrappy socks with these, if they'll just be contrast or if I will just throw them into my DK jelly blanket. Uh, we'll just kind of see what I'm in the mood for, but I just really liked them. So I got this. That's all I have for you. This is a pretty quick one, despite being like kind of two weeks in one of catching up. Like I mentioned, life has just been crazy a little bit. Uh, yeah, so I have a little bit of time today. I'm going to knit while I can try to cake up and cast on. Hopefully today we'll see. Um, Let's close our on out with three simple joys. Simple joy number one is sleeping in. Oh, so this summer, um, my husband's hours changed a little bit. And so we just don't have to get up as early to get everyone going and out of the house. So that is nice. Um, and I've really been enjoying that, especially uh, this morning. I really got to sleep in. And so that was super nice. Uh, Simple joy number two, I can't remember if it was last time or the time before that, probably two videos ago, I said that one of my simple joys was a steak bowl from Chipotle and it is shifted into the steak tacos from Chipotle. It is delicious, specifically this sauce because I do... I saw it on the internet. You do sour cream and the red tomatillo, but you pour, like you get a separate cup and then do half the sour cream and half of the red tomatillo and shake it. <gasps> Try it. It is so good. It does have a bit of a kick because it's a little bit of a spicier one with the red tomatillo, but it's really good. <laughs> that has been like a hyper fixation lately. <sighs> Yeah, I want it again. <laughs> um, and then simple joy number three is coffee shop sessions. And what I mean by that is just times whenever I can go to a coffee shop by myself. Um, 
and just have a little bit of time. I actually did that this morning. I didn't get to, I maybe knit one round on my rib socks, um, but I went to work. I had to do work this morning. And so I did it at a coffee shop just because I knew I wouldn't be able to fully focus at home. Um, but it was nice. I had myself my extra strong coffee <laughs> and a breakfast sandwich, which was really good. Um, but yeah, that was really nice to my, to have that to myself. I do have some vacation time coming up and I think I'm just going to take a tour of my local coffee shops and <laughs> sit and knit. Um, yeah, a little staycation. Uh, we will see. Yeah, but that's all I have for you. Um, I don't have my usual coffee cup to cheers you out. <laughs> I have my giant water jug. So, um... Until next time, stay hydrated and caffeinated.